All right, this is that's clearly not going to work. I like things that have to do with rock and roll, and I like guitars. I like working on guitars. I like amplifiers. I like songwriting. I like playing music. I like being in a band with people that are great and inspiring. I like recording bands. I like sounds. I like anything that the 13-year-old me would have thought of you know, sitting in his room listening to the radio or buying records. My first band um, was definitely a neighborhood affair. It was called The Cheaters. And, um, you know, we practiced in my parents' basement. And, um, you know, we played for a year and a half or something like that till we self-combusted. <laughs> The first Fastbacks show was early 1980, and we just, you know, kicked around for the better part of the decade. Fortunately, we, we landed on Sub Pop in the early, early 90s, because I, clearly we weren't going to go away. We're going to keep doing it one way or the other. My experience of the, the Seattle grunge explosion was kind of, um, honestly, we were too busy doing things to really pay attention to it. Certainly lots of my friends' bands were signed to bigger labels and, and, and the like in, in the early 90s, but, uh, you know, at the, at, the, at the time, it was like a little sad. It's like, well, what about us, you know? But in hindsight, it's fine. <laughs> In the late 80s, there was maybe a lull in the Fastbacks activity, and uh, another buddy's band, The Young Fresh Fellows, needed a guitar player. And it's like, well, I already know all your songs, I've seen all your shows, and that band still exists. We toured and done lots of great things. Super Suckers, one of their greatest records, I think. I started working on other people's records. Sicko, another awesome three-piece Seattle band. Did a lot of uh, recording of, of lots of bands and got to travel around the world. Super Snaz, a great uh, band from Tokyo, Japan. And, and like you'll be somewhere and you hear a song on the radio or somewhere it's like, I recorded that, how, God, that sounds killer, you know? Here's the first flop record. And then pat yourself on the back a little bit and it's like, Le Thugs, that's, that's really cool. And many others. The Gibson Seattle showroom needed a guitar tech for their operation. I was like, hey, I think I'm your guy. <laughs> I love Gibson guitars and I love working on them and I love the history of the company. I love all the different guitars that they made throughout history and it's just great. <laughs> These days, the Young Fresh Fellows still play with, you know, lots of little, like, side projects. There's the Sergeant Major 3, there is uh, Full Toilet. Do -do -do. What would you say if do -do -do. Um, saddled with the baggage of a tag of local legend? Uh, not really that. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, would think of local legend being somebody that, you know, has a beautiful house and wealth and, you know, billboard gold records on the wall and things like that. And whereas I always just think of myself as you know, somebody that just likes all these things and never grew out of that 13 year old kid wanting to be in a band. <laughs>